and welcome to Dabbling in Journals. Today I'm working in my regular size Travellers notebook from Travellers Company in the brown colour and I'm going to be working in my lightweight insert which I use for my bullet journaling or my version of bullet journaling which I don't think is really bullet journaling at all but I don't know. And last week, let's have a look at that first, I... This was, this was the week where I was using paint to decorate, which was messy fun. And I did all the things on my to-do list, so that was good. I didn't buy anything, any journaling or art supplies. So my low spend list only has the one thing on it still, which were the brush pens, Pentel brush pens that I bought. But what I do want to do, because I'm going to keep coming back to this, is just add a little tab so that I can easily find it. And the choice that I have on my Travellers Company tab sheet is important list, memo or information. Shall we call it important? Because it's important to track your spending, isn't it? <laughs> Especially when you're obsessed with supplies like me. So I'm just going to put a little tab so I can easily find that page when I want to add, when I buy something and I want to add it on. And what I shall probably do when I finish this insert is have lists like that at the front of my bullet journal because I don't need to have them weekly. Okay, I cooked, <laughs> I cooked my coconut and squash down sack, which was last, which was the week before's recipe of the week. I'm kind of like two weeks behind always with that. Uh, we weren't keen. It's not gone on our keep list. We really liked the vegan paella we had the week before, but the coconut and squash down sack was a bit meh. It was fine. It was healthy and it didn't taste horrible, but it wasn't exciting. So we didn't put it on our keep list. <laughs> this week I have decided to go for a meat dish because we've done lots of vegetarian ones. And I thought I would treat everybody to a meat dish this week. And I have found a recipe for lamb cleftico. I don't know if that's how you say it. I think it's a sort of Greek version of roast lamb. So you slow, you, you marinate the lamb in lots of different herbs overnight and lemon and such like and then the next day you cook you wrap it in baking parchment and foil and you cook it really 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 slowly well I think you put potatoes in there as well cook it really really slowly for I think it was four and a half hours or something and then you take it out and you roast it on a hot and then you whilst it's resting you roast your potatoes on hot and then you serve it with Greek salad and minted yogurt so I thought that sounded really nice so we're gonna have that on my meal plan this week. The other thing I did last week, my focus of the week was this card from my Lightseer's Tarot and he is the King of Cups and the quotation from the guidebook that goes with him says, my heart holds deep wisdom and love and I use it to connect and lead. So I thought this was a really nice drawing because you can see that he's fairly elderly when you look at the way she's represented his hands he has gray hair he looks mature he looks really serene I mean, he's got one of those is that one of those um singing bowls i don't really know what they are i think they i think they're called singing bowls i think they're a buddhist type thing um and he's at the sea which i think is a lovely place to be and he looks very peaceful and he looks like he's meditating so I think what's important here is the notion of wisdom and love. So the thought is intelligence and emotions. And I was thinking about that, finding the sweet spot between the empathic heart and intelligent mind was the advice of the person that wrote the guidebook. I mean, this, this is never easy to do. Because as well as wisdom, we need this emotional intelligence. Now, the notion of emotional intelligence was really popularised by Daniel Goleman. He's an American pop psychologist, journalist. And I think it's really common now in the workplace for training to include emotional intelligence training and for evaluations to include emotional intelligence evaluation. Now, according to Goleman, this emotional intelligence which is the ability to understand use and manage your emotions has five key elements he said self-awareness self-regulation motivation empathy and social skills 
and I was thinking about this and this sort of trend for focusing on emotional intelligence to help productivity in the workplace and I was researching it and I came across an article by somebody called Adam Grant who focuses on the dark side of emotional intelligence and I found that really interesting. He points out that like any skill, being able to read people can be used for good or evil and he talks about Martin Luther King and how his emotional intelligence enabled him to present the emotions that he wanted to use to persuade his audience to agree with him and how he also was able to read the emotions of his audience and he used that for good as we well know whereas somebody like Hitler in the second world war he probably had really good emotional intelligence because he was a really powerful speaker he was able to read the emotions of other people he was able to kind of get other people to feel what he wanted them to feel so that they agree with him. But of course, his views, most of us would agree, were evil. So wisdom is really, it seems to me, the key. The ability to use your knowledge and experience to make good decisions and judgments. Emotional intelligence needs to be married with wisdom in order for you to do good. Of course, that then poses the question of why do we have to be good? <laughs> Do we have to be good? What, you know, what, can we be evil if we want to be? <laughs> I think about that another day, but I really enjoyed thinking about this notion of emotional intelligence and the extent to which it's connected to wisdom last week. So that was my Fakers of the Week and I enjoyed that card and I can't wait to see what my next one's going to be. So now I want to plan my week for this week. So I'm going to go for a two-page spread again because I quite like the two-page spread. And I want to decorate my page, of course. I'm just going to clip that down because it's getting a bit bulky. And I found this vellum paper in my stash. I think that must have come from the Planner Society. I subscribed to the Planner Society like years ago. But I still have some bits and pieces left over. So I'm going to cut that to fit this page. Now, I need to remind myself, is it four and a half inches? Four and a quarter. So let's take off a piece which is four and a quarter inches and then I'm going to cut a strip for the top and a strip for the bottom. So this is a nice easy way to decorate your page is just to use some of your leftover papers if you use papers. It's not something you'd particularly want to buy especially I wouldn't have thought but if you already have like I do a stash of vellum or papers or whatever then I think this is quite a nice easy way to decorate and I think it will look nice what do you think <laughs> if I can get it on without it being wonky or something There we go. And I'm going to put a little strip down the bottom. And then this week I am going to be speedy and just write in the days of the week. And I think I'm just going to write the initial Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And do I need to put the date? That might be handy, so if I can find my month. And we are on, we're on the 13th. So I'm all ready to plan out my week and I've got a really quiet week, I think, this week. But the most important thing that I must not forget is that it's my partner's birthday on Friday. And then I'm going to go through my stickers to see what I need to remember. Now, I know I need to phone, or one of us needs to phone the vet today because my pregnant dog needs a vaccination. Okay. 
and that's just a little sampler I've got from Planner Face and I thought well I've put it on wonky I wonder if it'll come off I don't mind kind of scruffy planning I do quite a lot of scruffy planning but I hate it when things are wonky <laughs> I don't know why um Ewan's birthday I think that deserves oh let's give him a star there we go so that I don't forget that would be terrible wouldn't it <laughs> and I'm going to go through my other stickers I know that oops we have karate don't we on a Thursday so I'm going to pop that in and I'm not sure when piano is I'm going to put it in for Wednesday but it might be changing to Tuesday because my son has auditioned for a school play and the rehearsals will be on a Wednesday and he's very excited so I really hope that he gets a part but I, I they did say that the main parts will be going to the older students because they missed out last year because of Covid so he may he may not he may just get a little a little a little role in the school play but I need to do the music so I need to just check I know the piano teacher says she had a space on Tuesday she can move him to. But I don't know when that's going to start. So I need to check that, don't I? I'll put that on my to-do. When I do my to-do list, I'll put that on there. Okay, what else did I want to do? I want to do some work on Thursday in my commonplace book. Because it's. I started it and I haven't done much in it yet. So I want to do that on Thursday. So that, that was that sticker this afternoon. I am going to be editing this video. <laughs> and I'm going to change my weighing day to Sunday because I keep forgetting. And I'm never going to lose weight if I don't regularly weigh. So I'm going to change that to a Sunday, I've decided. And Wednesday I want to do my last watercolour of my landscape series that I've been doing so I'm going to pop that sticker which is like an art and craft sticker in there and Saturday I'm going to get my cooking head on but because this recipe that I'm doing requires me to marinate it overnight I'm going to put a reminder here to get my lamb in we're going to go for another date night on Saturday I really enjoyed myself I cooked the meal I put candles and flowers on the table and my partner said he felt like he had to be very posh but it was fun so we're going to do that again then I have my cleaning boring old cleaning to do on Friday I kind of tend to save it up and do it all at once because I hate cleaning and oh I got out these to call stickers because that's for the vet mustn't forget that because she has to have it at a specific time and then Friday of course I have my groceries coming and they've been coming really early in the morning they caught me in bed one week so I need to remember to get up a little bit earlier so my groceries and I think that's probably it for now And that's all I'm going to put in there for now. So I've got some nice stickers because I do I do find the stickers fun and they do jog my memory. And I've made it pretty just very simply with a bit of patterned vellum. And then I want to move on to my to-do list and my to-buy list. And then I've got an idea for something I want to put here, which is new edition. So let's, let me think. And I'm going to just use this Pentel touch pen, one of my new touch pens, to write on the top what each box is for. And this box I want to use for journal ideas. So what I mean by that is I want to research some ideas of different things that you can journal about. And the reason for that is I'm thinking about jumping onto the 
Hobonichi bandwagon and I'm trying to decide should I or shouldn't I get a Hobonichi and have another go. So I thought what I would do here is journal is write a list of ideas of things that I would actually use it for. I don't want to buy it if I'm not going to use it. So that's what's going to be going on that page. So I just want to decorate that with some stickers and such like. And I rather liked these stamp stickers and there's some sort of purpley coloured ones. So I'm thinking just some simple washi in purple colours. And a pale one. And then Oops, one of these stamp stickers, I like that one there. Ooh, it's stuck where I didn't want it. I want it to just go there. Okay, and then I'd like something down here. And I did have some really pretty purple washi, but I don't know what I've done with it. Oh, I see it. So I'm going to pop that one. I like that one so much. Might as well use it while I've got a purple theme going on. Down there. Just going to add another piece of washi. I am the washi queen today. Down here. And some of the pale of violet. Legs in. And then the other stamp sticker that looks purple. I'm going to pop that one there. And how's that? So I've got my week. I've got my to-do list and to-buy list. Now, what did I want to put on here? I said something. <laughs> I'm going to have to add it when I edit the video because I can't remember what it was. I, well, I know I want to do pros and cons of having a, a Hobonichi. And then I need to make a decision about puppy. Do I want to have a puppy? My partner and I did a pro and cons list and it didn't really help. Because <laughs> we could think of lots of good reasons for having a puppy and lots of good reasons for not having a puppy. So I don't know how to decide. I think it's being left with me, but I need to make a decision because I don't want to wait until the puppies are born because I know then I'll want them all. Um, there was something else I wanted to do this week, but I can't remember what it is at the moment, which is why I need a planner. You know, you have to write things down, otherwise you forget them. Uh, oh, I know what it was. It was to check piano lesson day. I don't know whether it's changing straight away or whether it's going to be changing once the play rehearsals after school start. So I need to find that out. Okay. So that's my to-do list, my to-buy list, my journal ideas. Next thing for me to do is my meal plan. So I just need to get my little template that I use to divide up my page. There we go. And I think I will just add some watercolour to the top. So a little bit of paint. Just getting out my mini one because that's all I need, isn't it? So if I mix some um, pink with some blue. Got a nice Nice watercolour purple. Okay, and I'm going to let that dry. Paper's all crinkling up nicely. And I just need my pen to put in my days for my meal plan. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. 
and so I know that we are having what was it called lamb clefty clefty co on Saturday so I need to marinade lamb on the Friday can't spell lamb look I don't know if I can read what that says now <laughs> and then today we will have I think I'm just going to do pasta carbonara and tomorrow I'm going to do chicken wraps I can't eat either of those things because of my diet and then Wednesday or Thursday is going to be curry so I always do curry on Thursdays. <laughs> haven't decided what kind. And I need one more thing. What shall I do? I need to give that some thought. So I haven't decided what to do Wednesday, Friday or Sunday yet. But I will think about that and then add those in. And here, obviously, I'm going to do my recipe of the week. And I just want to do really small amount of decoration. Because last week, I kind of ran out of room to write my recipe in. Because I'd put these great big stickers so I'm just going to put little tiny stickers today <laughs> so it doesn't take up so much room. There we go. A little bit of washi. And I have these lovely delicate little stickers and I think that will be perfect. So let's go with... a really thin one here. And let's have a little flower there. These are really hard to get off. I really like them. I like transparent stickers. I'm going to have to look and see where I got these from because I can't remember. That's another thing I could keep a list of, isn't it? Where I get things from. Do I want any more? Just maybe, maybe just that little one up there. And then I want to add my meal plan sticker. And I think I'm going to try and pop that over the top where that writing's showing through. It didn't bleed through until I wet it. So it hasn't bled through here, but here it's bled through because I put the wet paint on it. So that's something to remember. And then I found these stickers and that's a nice sort of menu planning related one because she's eating a bowl of ramen and she's got a purple head <laughs> or a purple hat. So I thought I'd use her. Is there going to be room? Yes, perfect. That was luck, not judgment. <laughs> so now I've done my week, my to do, to buy, my journal ideas, my meal plan, all ready for my recipe of the week. And the last thing, as always, that I want to put in here is my focus of the week. I will do a random pick from my tarot cards and see, I forgot to distress again. See what I get. And that just gives me something to focus on for the week. Sometimes I just do some research. Sometimes it makes me think of a goal. Sometimes it just gives me something to reflect on. Depends what grabs me, really. Now that, you see how the circles from my dabber tool are making a pattern. <laughs> I think that's not how you're supposed to do it, but I don't mind. Okay, and I'm going to add, I've got a little piece of old paper it's actually English so it must be part of a book and I think it came in a journaling pack so I want to stick that in oops oh it's falling to pieces oh look at that it's falling into loads of pieces I'm going to call that a happy accident oh it must be so old that it's just kind of disintegrating but it doesn't matter Let's put this piece here and then we've got this little tiny bit. Let's pop it slightly separated. Oh, 
I think we'll leave that. Should we leave that piece? <laughs> Each time I try and move it, it's like disintegrating a little bit more. Oh, I'm going to stick it on. Why not? Okay, and then I've got some vintage stamps as well, and I found three purple ones. So I need to choose which I want. I think I'll have that big one. And I think this one goes really nicely with it, but is that overkill? Is that overkill? What do you think? I don't think so. So if you feel like leaving me a comment below, do tell me whether or not you think I should keep a puppy from my dog litter. <laughs> I'm not saying that I'll follow your advice, <laughs> but it'd be interesting if you've got any reasons for and against keeping another puppy, especially if you're somebody that's um, got more than one dog. How? What would I be taking on? Would it be a nightmare? And I'm hoping perhaps my focus of the week this week might, who knows, might come out as something relevant that will help me think about what to do about my dog. And yeah, I forgot to distress my pages. I did that last week as well, and I like them to be distressed a little bit. So just adding a little, little bit around the edges. I thought they looked a bit sort of different to usual, but honestly, I've got a head like a sieve. I've had so much going on personally with my, I've got my friend that's really poorly and I just can't think straight. I'm so worried about her. Okay. So, thank you so much for joining me as I've planned out my week in my bullet journal. If you've got any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. And I really look forward to sharing with you the outcome of these pages next week. Thank you. Bye.